Hey there, friend. How you doing? Welcome to Soul Vine. If we haven't met, I am Jamie. It's great to connect with you today and I hope your weekend is working out pretty fab. I've been feeling a bit uh, on the tired side, kind of, I think, rejuvenating, uh, so to speak. Anyway, let's connect in. Uh, let me know in one word below how you're feeling today. And if you aren't feeling that great, let me know how you'd like to feel. Uh, so again, I think the the sharing of the gratitude uh, and what you were gra uh, grateful for really, you could, I mean, there was the energy I could feel. Um, so it was super awesome. Thank you for all those that contributed the other day. I know today, because like I said, I was feeling a bit, I've been feeling a bit tired the last couple of days and that's probably me just recharging and having some naps here and there, which have been fabulous. Um, but one word that I really want to get connected to this week, um, if we're picking a word, is activated. And that's activated in a sense of like where I'm meant to be focused this week in just different areas of my life. So yeah, I just want to feel activated and connected to those things because I find when you're activated, there's like nothing stopping you, you know. So yeah, let's see what's going on and how we can support your journey. So six of pentacles, five of wands. We have the high priestess energy. Let's dive in a little bit deeper and see where this is taking us. Oh, interesting. Um, that was in the wrong deck and just randomly dropped out. <laughs> We've got the ten of pentacles and knight of cups. Okay, okay. Do I have another one of those cards in here? Super interesting. Well, we'll take that as a win, hey? Let's see where this is taking us. We've got the Tower, the Fool, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands. We've got a couple more here. Queen of Wands and Knight of Swords. Is there any more that flipped? Nope. Okay. Let's start with that. And then we've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom. Nice. I'll take the Ace of Cups. How about that? I think that's a nice one. Then we've got Death Underneath. So something's changing. Okay. Friends. So with the Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands and the High Priestess, that energy is really... Um, th there may be some conflict here in terms of like a certain situation that you may be wanting to move towards and understand like what is it that I'm meant to be doing where is it that I'm meant to be going what am I meant to be focused on I think right now that there's a part of you that may be feeling a, a little bit more motivated or a little bit more balanced of where you're at but as you build that up it's like okay well I'm kind of feeling good or I'm feeling a bit better of where I am or I'm feeling that you know, things that think I'm okay. That's the energy I'm getting. I feel with the six of pentacles is just things are balanced out and, and, and you're feeling okay. And with that, it's like, well, where do I go next? What do I do next? Where am I supposed to be? And there's this part of you that might come into a sense of uh, just a little bit uncertain or trying to tap into your intuition and figure out what that is um, or figure out where you're meant to be next. So you may be just going a bit of back and forth in energy but it may be a feeling strange. And the reason I, I think this is that if you guys have been a little bit over the all over the place energetically and then find yourself just like cruising, that cruising can be a little odd because you've been used to just this power over here, power over there. It's just this up and down energy that ends up feeling like a baseline, right? So I think there's something changing here and transforming here. With this 10 of Pentacles, Knight of Cups and the Tower, I don't know if there's been something on the home front that you've been connected to or aspiring to around um, your sense of stability, your sense of like connectedness around home. Um it could be around work, but just again, this something around the home space, it could be related to a marriage, but this is around the home life, both of these energies. And then you've got this Knight of Cups coming through and then the tower. So I don't know if there's a, there's a past energy or an energy um, that you're connected into intuitively. You've been getting this feeling about something like 
and this could also be with this five of wands you whatever's been you've been feeling balanced but maybe intuitively you're like you're waiting for something to kind of come through that you're like really um i would intuitively i felt like this person was either going to come back or connect back or come speak to me and then boom they might come and you're like what the so there could be a few things going on for you right now related to something around your home space um where you live who you connected to uh but someone's coming on in to share something, uh, to express something here. Maybe this is a new counterpart. We'll find, we'll dive in deeper because we do have the Ace of Cups here. So this seems maybe something new or someone may be trying to start something new and fresh again or reconnect. But the tower's here. I want to unpack what this tower is because... Um, Something's surprising you. Something's surprising you. You've got a lot of tens. You've got the ten of pentacles, ten of cups, ten of wands. So whatever's surprising you here, again, this could be a fresh start. We've got love, transformation. It just seems like you're willing to take a chance on this, whatever this thing is coming on through or something that you're thinking about. Uh, maybe it's even surprising you. I don't know if, again, if it's an apology or a new connection coming on in that, again, life seems pretty balanced. So I don't know. You might even have, I'm, for some of you, I'm getting like you might have this fresh start or this fresh connection or this interesting person that pops into your life or comes into your life and then someone else comes knocking on the door. I just, I'm getting a bit of past energy here, like a past connection um, surpri surprising you or you bump into. There's something about a past energy that you already know that I'm really feeling strongly here. Uh, and again, there's something around the home front. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. There's, I feel like some of you have taken a fresh start, a new start somewhere in your life and something else is coming back around because you're feeling it. You're feeling the pressure of it. Because this is showing really nice energy, but there's something here that has challenged you or is challenging you or kind of like, what what is going on? You know, there's a bit of a shake-up and it's like, well, we, don't, we don't, do we really need more shake-ups, you know? And then you have the sudden wealth that just randomly popped out in that deck. And if that was from yesterday's read, and guys, I can't remember when I'm channeling through, so sometimes, so I apologize, but I'm guessing this came out this week for you at some point. Um, or in the last week anyway and that's kind of telling me that there is a change going on there is some luck on your side here um, and that's what this could be like an opportunity that's going to make you really happy um, yeah, it's like someone recognizes you someone sees you here as someone that they want in their life you bring this energy this spirit that just makes things more alive is how it seems and then you've got the knight of swords so this could be some form of communication that ends up coming through i, don't know, I think someone's noticing you here pisces is what i'm getting for some of you, this could even be a job offer, but it's interesting the way it's coming through with this Knight of Cups. So maybe again, it's someone that you could know through family, through family friends or something of that nature. Someone's, whatever's coming in, I think you just like, again, what is going on here? Um, I like the energy. I think the energy is great, but amongst it, you've still got these parts of you that needs to kind of be shaken off or... Um, just release because the 10, especially like the 10 of wands, that's like getting to a point, right, of the letting go. Something about this situation is putting pressure on you and it could be pressure of having to now make a decision or now step forward into this new opportunity because maybe it is a job offer with this sudden wealth. Um, 
because someone is feeling pulled. Look at this, Queen of Wands. I just noticed this. Oh, this is too, this Knight of Swords. So interesting. You got the eye here. You got the eye here and you've got the eye up here too. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm taking this is that some news is coming through. around whatever this opportunity is it's kind of like foresight is what I feel you're again I feel you're being recognized here for something maybe too you're getting a lot of attention maybe people are coming towards you but whatever this tower energy is there's something about you stepping up you being more connected to this it's like a path that you're meant to go down but interesting like when the information comes through I think you're going to be like what do I like what do I, I like yeah okay I can take a chance on this but then there's the pressure I don't know if it's a pressure of performance a pressure needing to show up a pressure of something that is it seems to be changing your life in a pretty significant way. I'm going to unpack this in the extended. If you wish to join us, it is the first link below. And um, otherwise, I uh, will see you tomorrow, dear friend. Bye.